Tizzy oh. Pro. Hey everybody! So today I'm here with Hunter March, special guest, and he has a series on Awesomeness TV called Dear Hunter, mm -hmm. where he answers your questions and gives you advice. Some of it is questionable, mm -hmm. and I think I can do it better. Yeah. So today I am taking his job, and I'm answering questions for you guys. As much as he knows about being a guy, I've learned that Hunter knows absolutely nothing about girls. Literally nothing. He's practically incapable of holding a conversation with the opposite gender. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so this video is what girls need guys to know. I need as much help as I can physically get right now. I don't think there's enough help in the world to help you, but I, being the good citizen that I am, yeah. I'm taking the time out of my day yeah. to sit down on this couch with you yeah. and help you out. Oh my god. Yeah. It's gonna be okay. Lauren is God. So the first thing is girls need guys to know to just text us back. We know you're getting your text messages. We know you see them. And is it really that hard? Just text us back. If, if I'm talking to a girl that I really, really like, I am too fast with text messages. Like she okay. won't even be done sending the text message. And I'll be like, yeah, I'll be there. What time? Da -da -da. But if it's a girl that like, I don't really know what's happening or, or I'm playing a game with, which is not something that you should do. I will definitely take my time. Maybe I'll forget. Don't automatically assume that we're being a like we're just, maybe we're busy. My second point, which is, girls want guys to know that we're not crazy, you make us crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, girls get painted as the crazy character, always. It's like, she's crazy. Do you know why that is? Why? Because sometimes girls are crazy. We're not. It's because guys, maybe like you, drive us insane because they don't know how to talk to girls and how to communicate so it makes us go crazy sometimes if you don't get a text back it makes you freak out and like you like the person so much so you're just like i want to text back but you don't want to look like you're crazy but you're going crazy because he's being so Ugh. guys do the same thing though so if we texted you and you didn't text back we flip out We're, we start thinking the worst things right away we're like she's with another dude that's it she's not interested anymore She's probably with the two dudes. I don't know. I don't know what kind of girls you're texting. The next thing is, it really is the little things. Not just because One Direction said so, which is most of the No, but really. <laughs> it's, I don't want you to bring me flowers, and I don't want you to like take me, that makes me like almost uncomfortable, like that's weird. What if they're like, little buy flowers? Me something. <laughs> easy to go big if you mm. don't really care about a person. It's easy to just put a little bit more money and try and make it look like you care. Yeah. But it's hard to remember what their favorite flower is and get them one of those flowers. Or it's more genuine. where you guys met, at what time, and taking them there on a date at that time. So the next thing is that being mean and playing hard to get is good for the chase, maybe, but it gets old. When we do that, we're literally under the pressure of like five of our best friends being like, dude, don't text her back. Just make her chase you. It's all them. Be like, guys, shh, let me take care of my woman. Is that how you think guys talk? Like, yo, yo, yo. Yo. Let me talk to you for a minute. Let me, let me take care of my woman. You worry I, about you. Next one is cleanse yourself. I'm not trying to be funny. Some guys don't know how to dress, shower, shave, brush their teeth, and it's the most disgusting thing of my life. You should honestly stop picking people up at shelters. <laughs> Like, have you ever- Are you tried? saying I have bad taste in men? I'm just saying, you could probably find a really nice homeless guy. Like, well, if you're going in to kiss someone and you smell. What does it smell like when someone smells bad? All right, I went to kiss a girl once, and she had once. breath that smelled like a pizza Lunchable. <laughs> when I know, in fact, that she hadn't had a pizza Lunchable all day. How do you know? Because I had spent the day with her. And, and not once had she, she wasn't gone long enough to eat a pizza Lunchable. Those take time. <laughs> you had to make the pizza. That's a preparation meal right there. Yes. So I get what you're saying. Cleanliness yes. is extremely important. It goes both ways. Next thing is don't treat us differently around your friends because you think you're cool. Like you mentioned earlier. Yeah. So like when you're at a group hangout and like the guys are being kind of mean and then the guy you like doesn't really defend you and just plays too cool and you're like, you text me really cute things sometimes. Like, don't play that game. Yeah, put him like, in the spotlight. Be like, 
Honey, Jesus remember here. the other Honey. day when you brought me chocolates and then you said, I want to be the little spoon? Tell your friends about that. They're going to love it. If a girl did that to me, I would be like, oh my God, Honey. you're funny and you're right. I should be not being a big <laughs> to you right now. Yes, yes. The next thing we really need you guys to know is that we are not going to change for you. You can't try and change a girl. You have to like her for who she is because so many girls trying to change for guys. A road Exactly. I think that's a huge thing is, you know, you're with someone because of who they are. Yeah. So if you're expecting them to change, you're not with the person you want to be with if you want someone else. Girls know everything and we will find out no matter what, no matter what you say or do behind our back, we will figure it out because girls talk. I can hear you. And so can everyone else. Okay, well then point prove it. And then the biggest thing is that when girls see another side of guys, it's like really attractive. Like good to see a passionate side of someone that they care about more than just the like tough guy thing that they put on. You just want to see that we love something besides ourselves. Yes, exactly. Huge turn on. That's my turned on face. You must get a lot of girls. As soon as I do that, they're like, they're oh like, my, I gotta call the cops. So basically, with every good relationship comes openness and honesty and just being yourself, which I know kind of sounds cheesy, but it's just a fact that don't play a game, don't be sneaky, and just show each other the true side of yourselves to maintain a healthy relationship. He's still working on it, but one day, we will all get there. Thank you, Lauren. And honestly, a lot of the things you said, uh, some of them, you know, I learned, some of them I didn't know, and now I know. And uh, I feel like a better person because of it. I still don't like you. I still think you're going to be forever alone. But I feel better. So if you want to know what guys want girls to know, make sure to check out Hunter's video, which I'm going to link in the description box. And you can click on it somewhere around Hunter, preferably like right on his face. And we will see you all next time. Bye. Bye. I'm so excited to be doing my room tour for you all in California. I haven't done one since I lived back home in high school in Chicago.